Hi guys, this is the third episode to True to Self and in this episode I just want to talk about self-ego. I would like to break it down into two different subjects. One is being true to yourself and one is being true to your friends. So something that I found really hard for me to grasp was how do I do that? How do I act a certain way around people that I do not familiarize myself with? And I had to look around and actually question who I was as a person and who I was going to be growing up. This was something that I thought about ever since I was a young child, just who I was and if I had to focus on a career right away. And that was hard for me to grasp because at a young age I was based around in a society where I needed to know what job I wanted and what job I wanted to have in the future. Now before I said that our ego is split into two different things. The first thing is who we follow on Instagram and social media and the second thing is who we are as a person. So personally I like to surround myself with people that are happy, that are energetic, that are outgoing and always looking to put a step in the future. and just to make their own path. I think that's the best way to live your life is to create your own path and to do your own thing. But that's hard for people to understand because being your own person takes confidence and confidence just doesn't, it's not always there in the blink of an eye. So trying to understand where your confidence comes from takes a little bit of learning and I hope that as these episodes continue to go on and I continue to rant the way that I rant that you'll find that confidence eventually and that you'll have that confidence to be the person that you want to be and I think that together if we grow as a collective and if we grow as a community it could become something that's beautiful and something that's enjoyed because as the YouTube community grows we become more confident in ourselves in the persons that we want to be, excuse me, in the person that we want to be, and understanding the key components to finding happiness and to becoming free with yourself is all about taking what life has for you and turning it into something good. For myself, I follow God. God is good to me. I like God and I believe in God, so God gives me a light.